Welcome to BizPrac. In this video, we'll explore how to pay creditor invoices. Firstly, we go to the creditor invoices window. This shows us the list of current creditor invoices. Before we can pay invoices in BizPrac, they must be authorized or partially authorized. So what we do is choose the ones we'd like to pay and click the authorize button. We'll choose one that we'd like to part pay and choose part authorize. We type in the amount we would like to pay on this invoice. Click the apply button and we can see that the invoice has been partially authorized. Now you may wish to authorize or cancel authorizations on a large number of invoices. To do this we use the authorize hold or cancel authorizations function from the utilities menu. This tool is designed to manage large numbers of invoices or credit notes. So we can authorize, cancel authorizations, put invoices on hold, remove the hold from invoices. For all creditors or subcontractors, a single creditor or subcontractor, creditors only or subcontractors only. This enables us to manage large quantities of invoices or credit notes that will enter through our system. In this case, I'm going to leave it on authorised invoices credit notes and I'm going to use a due date for this action. I'll leave the date range from blank so it'll pick up all invoices up until the closing date of this function, which is the 31st of the 10th, 2014. When I click the apply button, BizPrac will place authorization tags on all of those that fit within this range. Now that we have authorized some invoices, we can pay them. But what if in the meantime someone comes along and wants to be paid for their individual invoice before you're ready to do the entire pay run? All we need to do is highlight the invoice we wish to pay now, click on the pay button and click selected authorized invoices. BizPrac will pay only the high one that has been highlighted as we can see, number of creditors one, number of invoices one, payment amount $500. So we can continue with this process and pay just this one now and come back and pay the others later. For this moment though, we'll cancel. So we want to, want to do our big pay run now. We click the pay button, select all authorised invoices. BizPrac totals them all up, number of invoices, etc., number of creditors we're going to be paying. And we can start setting our other options. If we're using a direct bank payment, we can click on this option here. BizPrac tells us there are seven creditors without direct bank payment details. So we can click on this button and then change them, modify them, add them in right here and now. There is no need to go back to the creditor themselves to add this information. This speeds up the payment process enormously. If you want to check your own ABA information, bank details, click this button. It allows you to make any recent modifications that you need to before you make the payment. Now of course BizPrac cannot tell if you've entered the right account numbers because that's simply a data entry process. You must check to make sure you have the correct information before you enter it. Okay, we'll cancel this and we'll turn off the direct bank payment details at this point because we're just doing a demonstration. If we wish to print a payment advice, we click this option. And if we wish to email our payment advice, we select this option. BizPrac will detect which creditors have no email addresses and notify us. In this case, we can click on the email addresses for creditors. And again, we can modify them from this screen. We can add their email addresses in, set them as a default, etc., from this window without having to go back to the list of creditors. Again, for this demonstration, we'll say no payment advice. And before we go ahead and make the payments, we can print our list of authorised invoices.
This shows us the list of authorised invoices that we're about to pay and about to process. It's a good idea to print this out every time you do a pay run to make sure you're not paying too much or you're not paying the wrong invoices. Now we'll press continue to go to the actual payment window. Here we are about to process the payments. We can see our first creditor, Bunnings Hardware. We can see the date, currently today's date. You can change that if necessary. The payment number is the next check number in the series if you're doing check runs. If you're doing direct bank payments, it will come up with a direct bank payment number instead and the auto number will be off. It will automatically select the next number. If we want you to see which is being paid, we click the Invoice Details tab, which will show us the invoice we're about to pay. Now, we've got two methods of doing this. We can step through and make all of the payments individually by clicking Make This Payment. Or we can click Make All Payments, which will make all of the payments one after another. The check numbers will be sequentially incremented, and the direct payment number will be as well, if you choose this option. In this case, I'm going to make this payment as a single payment on the first one so we can see how it works. So the first payment has been made and processed. If we wish to continue, we can click make this payment again. In this case, we've come up with a credit note that's been authorised for payment. As it says, there's no check number required, so it says not required. Now I'm going to skip this because I don't want to apply this payment, this credit note uh, to a zero payment. I want to apply it to an invoice later. So I'm going to skip this payment. Now from now on, I'll let BizPrac make all the payments one after another automatically. I do that by clicking Make All Payments. We get a warning screen up here which tells us BizPrac is about to automatically process all of the remaining authorised invoices. If we've selected a print or email for payment advices, these will also be done. I'm going to go ahead and click Pay All. BizPrac completes the process and shows us that 10 invoices have been paid to 7 creditors. Now that the pay run is complete, click the Close button.